which I can see the biggest problem in supply chain, is, it's, and a lot of people are focused on, is the visibility. So all the cloud solutions are making big progress. So in, in, in a lot of startups are focusing, especially on the freight and logistics side, improves the visibility, or, uh, and the customer wants visibility, us as manufacturers wants visibility. So that's definitely going to improve and improve very fast. The second, the third one I see is the Internet of, uh, Internet of Things. In, in manufacturing and logistics, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. Right now, I'm already using our RFID. We're talking about connected picking, picking through through the through the voice, and I think we call it um, Industry 4.0. So that's definitely gonna gonna change the change the, the way we do things. Uh, I recently found one of my friend that he started basically creating a video game, so sort of video games, basically how to train people and simulate supply chain. So that's uh, that's the new 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 way coming. The 3D printing is there for the last 30 years. So 3D printing technology-wise, it's it's not new. It's been there for the last 30 years. But I think just about now, people have got a hang of how to use 3D printing to solve supply chain problems. So for example, in the when I was in aerospace division, the, the biggest problem is this contract of, uh, you know, they need seven years supply. So you cannot have a part for seven years. The solution of that is actually go through the, through the 3D printing, right? So the technologies are there to work with. Okay, so great to pick up the technology. I'm going to pick up the people side. Mm -hmm. um, it won't come as a surprise on what we said earlier. I see a different, well, not different, I just see an accelerating technology driven future coming in five, ten years. And it's not that we're going to be redundant, it's that we're going to be different. And how are we going to be different? It's that if you look at all of the reports, there's a great report from, I think, PwC about uh, the impact of AI on all employment in 2030. And what it basically says is about 30 to 40 percent of all uh, blue collar jobs, be it um, blue collar um, uh, office jobs, so paralegal, accountancy, uh, buyers, and manufacturing jobs will be replaced by machines. They just will. The jobs that won't be replaced are the jobs that can only be done by humans. And the jobs that can be done by humans are the ones that involve creativity, that involve caring, that involve design. So what does that mean? Does it mean that suddenly only those people with a very good education have a job? No, because there are many jobs, certainly in the UK, where we do not have enough people who are involved in social care, involved in education, involved in uh, caring for the environment. There's going to be, therefore, a change in how people are employed. If we zoom that back into procurement and supply chain, what does it mean? It means that the children today that are going to be coming into procurement and supply chain jobs in the next 10 to 15 years, they're going to be different because we're not going to be asking them to do the basic repetitive tasks, which I agree are important today. <coughs> But we need to think about the skill sets that those people will have in a different age where we are using technology to do the basics. Like we talked about this morning, we no longer go shopping in our cars for most of the stuff we buy. We buy it online. So why do we need shopping bags and people who can go to shops and carry it? We don't need it. Procurement will have the same change. So we need to look at, I believe, people who are comfortable with technology, People who can have the widest social skills in terms of networking, in terms of influencing, in terms of communication. And to your point, Amirada, people who can recognize opportunities for innovation and can then bring them to the business in a compelling way. And, and that to me is the skill set that we as professionals are going to be looking for in the people that do our jobs in the future, in my view.